Good morning, my all church. I want to give you your Monday morning devotion this morning. And uh, the thing that, that is on my mind is a story at the end of the sermon about uh, the lady who decided to go uh, to St. Louis. And she went down to the train station and she was very confused with all the trains that were going here and there. And she asked the people, which train goes to St. Louis? And uh, so somebody came up and was a good Samaritan, so to speak, and helped her find the place to buy the ticket and the train to get on to go to St. Louis. Well, when she got on the train, she began to question and doubt and said, I don't know if this is really the train to St. Louis. And so there was a lady sitting beside her, and she said, Honey, is this the train going to St. Louis? She said, Oh, dear, yes, this is the train that goes to St. Louis. And she thought about that for a while, and she began to get nervous, and she began to doubt again, and she said, you know, that lady looked a little confused. Maybe she's on the wrong train. And then she uh, turned to a man who was standing there and said, sir, is this the train to St. Louis? And uh, he said, sure, this is the train to St. Louis. When she thought about it for a while, she began to, to, to get nervous again and scared. She said, well, that man didn't look very smart, so maybe he's confused. So then she was really in a panic. She thought she was on the train going to the wrong place. About that time, the conductor came walking through the train, and as he came by, she tugged him on the on the shirt tail there and said, Sir, could you please tell me if this is the train going to St. Louis? And he said, Yes, ma'am. I'm the one running the engine, and I'll get you there in a short time. And after this, she laid back and went to sleep. And the concept behind this is people beside you can tell you People behind you can tell you, your pastor can tell you that you're saved and that you're right with God and you're on your way to heaven. But it's not until the conductor, Jesus Christ, until you know him, can you be sure, can you live in assurance? Uh, assurance in the Christian faith, that's something that's that's lacking in the, in the day and hour we're living in. You know, Job said, I know, I know my Redeemer lives. He had the assurance, even in his suffering, uh, that that uh, he was justified and right with God and that he would be resurrected. So let's look at a scripture here. John 5 and 24 is the last scripture I had up yesterday. But this is our Bible study. It's good to study together like this on the devotions, to gather around God's word for just a short period of time uh, as a church and to have these daily devotions on Facebook. I, I'm so glad we do them. But if you look at 5 and 24, John 5 and 24, it says, Verily, verily, or amen, amen. This is Jesus speaking. I say unto you, he that heareth my words and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. You do a word study and when he says, he that heareth my word, that means he comprehends, he takes it in. He takes it in, receives it. My words, and believeth on him that sent me. That means to trust, to have faith in, or to throw it all upon. I throw it all upon Jesus Christ. My entire being, my future, my past. He that believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life. Now, everlasting life, of course, is hard to define, but uh, it means to be to live forever with God. It means to start. It starts at the moment that you're saved, and at that moment, a new life begins. Uh, it's a complete transaction. It's completed. It's done. And that's, you know, we all may face a physical death, but the believers have the assurance of the resurrection in the future. Assurance. And then he says they will move on the past from death and alive, from living dead to God to being alive. So on this Monday morning, we want us to have the assurance. You know, a lot of people feel like that, uh, you know, a lot of religions will say, do this and do that. Do this and do that and you'll be right with God. Maybe you might be right with God. But the gospel of Jesus Christ doesn't say do, it says done. Jesus said it is finished. And we need to have that assurance. You know, before we're saved, we're enslaved to our sin and habit of sin. But many times after we're saved, we get enslaved to a religion. And I asked Emma last night, I said, you know, do you ever feel like you're not saved? She said, no, but sometimes I feel like I don't do enough. See, that's this mentality, this lack of assurance that I need to do more. Uh, that uh, that I need to read the Bible more because I, I need to stay saved or uh, I need to, if I do something wrong, I need to make amends for it. And so like that lady on the train, many times we live our Christian life in turmoil and doubt. 
without peace because we don't live in the assurance of our salvation. Jesus said, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. You were once enslaved to sin. Don't be enslaved to religion after you're saved. But stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has set us free. Have you put your faith and trust in Christ? You can today. And you can have everlasting life. A new life can begin today, this moment, here in this devotion. But if you have put your faith and trust in Christ, then live in the assurance that Jesus said it, that settles it, I accept it, I'm saved, I know the conductor, and I'm on my way to heaven. 